Hello and welcome to Shaha Computer. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create automatic multiple shift neutraster for the employees. In the previous video, we have seen the complete demonstration of this template and in this video, we will learn how to create this template. If you have not seen this demonstration, the link is given below in the description box. You can watch it from there. And in this tutorial, we will learn about the setting sheet. So without wasting any more time, let's begin this tutorial. First, go to File, New, then click on Spreadsheet. New Spreadsheet is created. Now, give a name of this file as Multiple Shift Duty Roster. Now, we need two worksheet. So first we have this worksheet, rename this as settings and next another sheet as master. Now we will learn about the setting sheet. First create a margin here and then type here month list and type here January. Drag the down list till December. Then separate this, then type here year list. And here you can type from 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, then 2030. Now again separate this, then type here shift names and you can type the shift name as morning, afternoon, night and I choose the night, day, call day. Okay, now again separate it. And here shift legends, shift legends, M, A, N, D, C. Now here we'll create the shift types. So type here shift, sorry, type here shift A, then shift B, Shift C, Shift D, Shift E. Select all the cells and reduce the column width. Okay. Now create other separator. Now here you have to create the rotation style according to your requirement. So I will do it by myself. So all these rotation style are for a demo purpose. These are not the actual rotation style. Now select this and make it center. Okay, this one also center. Okay. Now we have to create the name range for month list, year list, shift name and shift legend and also this shift type. So for that go to data name range and Give a name here is underscore m list and click here and select the range and then click OK. Then done. The next range is underscore y list. Select the range. OK. Done. Now another range is underscore shift s name that is shift name then select the range up to 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 up to 12 okay then done then another range s underscore s legend select from this to this okay done now last range type here is underscore shift type select the range from 
shift a to e okay done so we have created all the five name ranges close this now we have to do the conditional formatting for all this so we will create conditional formatting for the 12 month so select this format conditional formatting select here custom formula is and type here equal to and sorry equal to is even is first we'll start with odd is odd row bracket open our first cell is b3 so b3 bracket close bracket close and our first color will be first select this one and click on this plus and change the color this one okay copy this number okay okay done now another rule for same range custom formula is equal to is odd is even is even row bracket open b3 bracket close bracket close and here we'll first select this cell sorry this color then select plus and give a light color okay done now we will use the format painter so select this one click here and select this now again click on format painter and select up to row 12 so here we have something different undo give here a rule same rule custom formula here we have to use two function that is one is this cell is e odd and not equal to blank so for that you have to use and function equal to and bracket open is odd bracket open or row bracket open f3 bracket close bracket close comma f3 not equal to blank bracket close color use this color done now another rule same formula we have to use equal to and bracket open is even bracket open row bracket open f3 bracket close for row bracket close for even comma f3 not equal to blank bracket close for and change the color done and we'll also give a color to show that it will work up to row number 12 so close this one and from here we will use this color to understand this cells you can use now here also use this color sorry not this one it should be this one okay and select all the cells up to row 32 starts from 332 okay now select this cell okay now we will use the format painter for this okay done and for all this here we have to use another so type here first select up to here format conditional formatting custom formula equal to and bracket open is odd bracket open row bracket open j3 bracket close for row bracket close for is odd comma j3 not equal to blank bracket close select the color done same formula so copy this another rule custom formula paste and here instead of is odd it should be even and select the light color done now select this one and do the conditional formatting now again select this one conditional formatting in this way we have to do it for all the five 
columns okay now close it so we have done these things so first select these cells and here give a deep color okay use this color and font color is white bold and increase the font size you can change the font style also in this way now is done so we have successfully created the setting sheet and we have one more things but we have to do that after the master sheet that is the dependent drop down list for all the employees in the master sheet so we'll create here when we will create the master sheet so today we have learned this setting sheet and on the next tutorial we'll understand the master sheet so i hope you have understood everything in this tutorial but still if you have any queries or any problem you can write me in the comment section i will surely help you out if you like this video please hit the like button and share this with your friends and colleagues thanks for watching the video till the end see you soon in the next tutorial